happy vlogmas day three today is monday december 2nd um, but you'll be watching this on day three of vlogmas um my name is meg i am the yarn dyer behind megs and co and i'm coming at you from fairport new york um I'm realizing after editing the past couple videos that I just jumped right into Vlogmas without introducing myself at all. So if you're new here and you stuck through watching a stranger's Vlogmases, thank you so much. Um, and yeah, so <sighs> today's Monday, back to work after um, Thanksgiving vacation. Woof, but uh, that's okay. It was a good Monday. It wasn't too bad. Um, but uh, Mondays are Mondays, and a Monday after, you know, holiday break. It's always just a little extra. Um, so I just got home from work a little bit ago, and I have a lot of washing to do. Um, so yesterday I had finished up a whole bunch of yarn dyeing. And so today I have to get everything soaking. So I had actually done a good job of getting quite a bit soaking yesterday in my in-between. Um, so I'm gonna get everything that was soaking yesterday um, up on the drying racks and um, I gotta wash pans and whatnot today. Washing yarn, this is like my least absolutely least favorite part of the process. I hate washing pans. I just hate when my hands are just all wet and gross. It's lifting the buckets. It's heavy. I hate it. It's just very boring. It's labor intensive. It's not fun. It's not creative. It's just work. Um, and so it's kind of a total bummer that not only is it a Monday, but now I have to wash pans, but that's okay. So I'm going to try to speed through this as quickly as possible so I can get upstairs and um, I actually have quite a bit of orders to pack today as well. Um, I had a coupon code for my Black Friday sale. Um, I think it's actually good until Friday. So if this posts tomorrow, it's, um, it's thankful24 um, for 20% off my entire shop. So um, I'm packing up all those orders as soon as I'm done with the washing so that those can get posted tomorrow. Oh, so lots to do before I can sit down and rest, but that's okay. No rest for the wicked, right? So like we say all the time, time to get to work. Um, I did finish my audiobook, um, but today I really need some tunes to keep me kicking and keep my feet moving. Um, I do not have a new audiobook, so I'm gonna need to find something new to listen to. I think I need like a good juicy thriller. Yeah, good page turner, or I guess a an ear turner. <laughs> All right, we need to get washing. Let's go, let's do it. is activated well not quite yet I actually have quite a bit of orders to pack up um, from my weekend sale so I'm gonna do that now but that is much easier work relaxation work for me um, I can get my groove I can listen to my tunes I don't have to worry about hefts and pans slug and pails of water so i don't mind packing the orders i get actually a lot of joy over packing the orders and seeing your notes and um so this is actually one of my top favorite things to do 
So I'm excited for this and it's not gonna be um, too bad. I try to keep up with it and like pull um, the inventory as the orders come in. So I'm actually kind of halfway done. Like I, I print out the um, the invoices kind of once a day and, and pull the orders. Um, so I really just have to assemble the packages. So this should be pretty smooth, pretty easy. Okay, Google, Google, play Lady Gaga. All right, here's a Spotify playlist called Lady Gaga Mix. this way. You can't come up this way. You have to go the other way. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. And now it's time for my favorite time of the evening. The reason we work hard so that we can open all of our presents to ourselves is <laughs> Advent time. Um, so we'll start with my Buku Yarns Advent. Um, so this is the one where it comes with um, the 12 50 gram skeins of DK yarn and then the other days are just other things. So today won't be yarn, but I wanted to share my progress. So this um, also came with a pattern for, um, I mean, I guess it's kind of a mystery shawl. It did have a picture, but it wasn't a color picture. And I'm not gonna lie, the picture was like really obscured. Like it was kind of on somebody, but you really didn't get a good peek at like what this full shawl object looks like. So I'm, you know, kind of going in blind. Um, but I got a good amount done yesterday. So my estimation is I'm probably I don't know, about a third of the way done with my cake. Um, in terms of like the number of rows I still have to go, yeah, I'm about a third. Um, it's really beautiful the way that this colorway is working up and so I'm really happy with this. Um, I took this to work today and this was my um, lunch break project and it was absolutely perfect, just soothing garner. Um, so that was really nice to work on that. 
Um, and then my other project, I'll share this really quick. So this is the Woolens and Nosh um, self-striping sock advent. And so I was able to get one of the socks started yesterday. I didn't get the second one started, um, but I did get one started so I could see yesterday's stripe. So I'm doing toe up. So I got my toe started. And for the toe, I just used the mini skein that came with it. Um, so got my toe started. So this was yesterday's stripe. Um, and I think I can crank out one stripe tonight on this sock. I, it's pretty late. It's like after eight o'clock already and we haven't even had dinner yet. So I, I'm definitely not even gonna try to start that second sock. Um, if I don't start it till this weekend, I'm not worried about it. I will catch up. Um, but I definitely want to see like what the next color is because that I can't tell you like how much fun it was to finally get to get a little sneak peek of that color. Um, and then this advent, so I actually didn't open this one yesterday. This advent is by Spun Right Round. Um, so Renee of Spun Right Round, she's actually local to me. Um, she is a dyer that I look up to so much. I don't think I've literally no exaggeration i have never seen a colorway that i didn't like and this is actually an advent that um i thought i had missed out on um she released it in the springtime to do the pre-orders sold out before i could get it um i just wasn't paying attention to my email whatever reasons did not get it um and she had some extras that she posted um, when she was shipping and so I was able to get my hands on one so I was so excited she actually did the illustration for the box which I think is so neat um, such a special little touch as well um, and so the reason I didn't open this yesterday is traditionally um, my birthday is in January and it's traditionally I actually like to get an advent and I'll save it and open it in January to count down to my birthday my birthday's not on the 24th or the 25th or on a day that <laughs> kind of works with an advent. It's a little bit later, but you know, you skip a Monday or a Tuesday here and there and it still works fine. But I found a project that, and I should have had this queued up already, but I found a project that I want to make with these. And I'm not gonna start it now because that's, I have got way too much going on. Um, whew, I actually have a test in it that, um, that I'm also working on. Um, I started to swatch for it and I'm having some difficulty with the swatching. So I kind of put that aside to think about later. Um, but I'm also doing a test knit as well. So I have a lot going on this month. So I'm not going to be starting it this month, but I want to be working on it in December. Um, or not December. I want to be working on it next month in January. And I want to plan out the project. Like I want to see all the minis and arrange them and put them in an order. And if I need like a main color to separate them, I want to plan that out and have enough time um, to either go through my stash or dye something um, so that I'm not rushed making that in January. And so then in January, instead of opening something every day, I can be working through the minis each day, if that makes sense. So the project that I plan to do, unless I find something different from now until then, is the Advent 2020 sweater by Helene's Knit House. So I guess this actually came out in 2020. There's a picture of it. Um, and I just thought it was really cute. Here's like, a, I think a great picture of it kind of opened up. Um, it's just totally my style. I like that kind of you know, fitted bottom, boxy top. Um, I feel like it's just like the type of thing that like I'll bop around the house in it and I just like how it shows off all the colors. So now that I picked a project, I get to open this. So I get to open two of the days. Oh good, it actually comes with a postcard. So I like that um, I has the illustration. I might put this in my office. 
Um, so I guess I opened two of these today. So it looks like it comes with some soak wash. It's definitely used. So this would have been yesterday's number one. She is so good, like, so good. Love it. And I love these bags. I love how colorful they are. And number two, yes, yes. And I like how, I just love how cheerful these are. Like, these are gonna be so great. So great. Okay. I'm really excited for this. Tuck these in the front. So I like how I'm kind of opening my birthday present now. That's, that's really fun. <laughs> Quiet in the peanut gallery. Okay, I'm put this down here. Um, so the next one I'll open is my Buku Yarns. Um, so this is a yarn shop slash yarn dyer that's out in California area. And so, yeah, today I don't think is yarn. It's one of these packages. That one seemed very chocolate shaped. Okay. Just got to do this. Oh, I got it. Okay. Number two, small. Small ones are usually always the best ones. Ooh, it looks like we've got some stitch markers. There we go. Just break the seal to get these out. Okay, these are really pretty. So they're kind of in the theme of that butterfly garden. So I got a progress keeper and some stitch markers, which is great because I believe that the pattern does call for stitch markers eventually. So I'm not surprised that there's some stitch markers on day two, because I do think, um, if I remember correctly when I peeked ahead, I do think that I'm going to need these, so that's perfect that these were included. I love this bag, it's so pretty. And they're actually like embroidered, they're not just like printed on there. Okay, and then we've got twice sheared sheep. I'm still like so impressed with this box. Like I'm gonna put something fun in here when I'm done. Number two. How do I open this? It's like that time of the night where I just start to get really dumb. Like, okay. Okay, so I was not expecting <laughs> to open like that. <gasps> Ooh, okay, I don't know what you are. I'm like, ooh, and I have no idea what it is. <laughs> okay, this looks fun. This is a snowflake sewing ornament. So this is like a, looks like a little, you can do DIY your own little ornament. That's so cute. So a fun little project. Love it. In this funky little box. Just throw that aside. Okay, that'll be so much fun. Oh, that'll be, it'll be a fun little craft to do. Um, 
Then we gotta do a puzzle. Yeah. Do you wanna, I didn't grab the, the puzzle box. Well, today I got confused between the puzzle box and the jerky box, and I ate the second day of, uh, You ate the second day? Of the puzzle. Okay, well, how did it taste? A little cardboardy, I won't lie. Okay. So my husband got a jerky advent, um, but it's 12 days of jerky, so he's gonna open one, like, every other day instead of every day. I guess unless he gets really hungry, but we're about to eat dinner, so I don't think he needs to eat jerky right now. But this is our puzzle calendar. Um, where is two? There you are. I just love how cute these little boxes are. pieces are so tiny. So we did do, this was yesterday's puzzle, I probably can't see. We're using this lid as our puzzle box. <laughs> it's a, our little movable puzzle tray. And yesterday's puzzle had an extra piece in it that really threw me because I could not figure out where this piece went. And uh, yeah, the puzzle is complete, but there's a piece. So really hoping that today does not have <laughs> a rogue piece but that'll be fun so i'm gonna put this together and then we're gonna eat dinner and i'm gonna work on the next stripe in my sock and then probably go to bed so until tomorrow happy vlogmas